He is so creative. He gets the kids motivated for projects in science, technology, innovation. He is awesome. STEM embraces hands-on interdisciplinary learning, so students, they are out investigating, they're answering questions, they're asking questions. Did you, did you know? Did you know that Mr. Sturgis was born in Africa, in Sudan? He's got his science lab so intriguing, full of investigations, and Mr. Jurgis is just as energetic as every child in there. It's dynamic, it's always changing, it's moving it's, as they discover and as they investigate, you're kind of bringing everything together and so they get the bigger picture. Did you, did you, know, did you know Mr. Jurgis went to Stanford University? One thing I've become really, really interested in in the past few years is this way of growing food called aquaponics. You cycle the fish wastewater using a water pump up to the grow beds where the plants grow. The idea is the fish fertilize the plants and the plants filter the water for the fish. And so it's one big, nice ecosystem, nitrogen cycle. He's always been enthusiastic about teaching and he brings that enthusiasm to the classroom. Did you, did you, know, did you, know, did you know, know, you know that Mr. George just drives around with fish poop in his car? On the weekends, you can probably find me emptying a whole bunch of fish poop into buckets, loading it into my trunk, and transporting it from one part of Irving to another part of Irving. Did you, did you know, did you know Mr. George just does yoga every day and this is one of his moves very thorough and gets the kids involved in fun science experiments where they're learning. So my vision is a network of aquaponics gardeners in the community so students would volunteer and families would volunteer all this knowledge and technology of growing food, healthy food, organic. That's the kind of idea I want to pass on to the children as well as a set of skills that they can take into their community to better the community. When it came to Robert Georges's classes, students wanted to be there and wanted to come to school and forever I will be grateful to him for that. The students here pretty much give me all the energy that I need. If I'm feeling low energy one day, they will breathe life into me and I pretty much feel like a superstar because of them, but they, they just like keep me going for sure.